Welcome everyone. It's Dawn Duvall. I am coming to you re pre-recorded from Fort Myers, Florida, and I am probably on the boat somewhere. I'm not sure, but I should be posting as we go. Um, but welcome back to another Tuesday night. I hope you enjoyed last week's cards. Uh, this week we're going to be doing a um, flower pot stand-up card, and then we're also doing um, a tie back curtain so I hope you enjoy these I am going to go ahead and turn the camera down and do my little spiel and then we'll get started and by then hopefully everybody will join us so let me flip the camera down to my desk all right now um, as I always mention every week when you place a $50 order through my online store using this host code right here then you will receive a monthly project in this particular month for May, you will receive 42 projects. These are awesome projects that demonstrators from around the world, we participate in this collaboration. And they're great for inspiration. You can copy and uh, make some changes. However you want to use these, that is fine. And we have all sorts of new uh, sets and carryover sets that are in this particular uh, project. So again, if you place an order with me through uh, my online store, then I will email this to you as soon as I uh, receive the notification that your order has been received. The other thing that I'd like to mention is that if you are part of my newsletter subscribers, then you will have access to these monthly coupons that I provide, and it's in my newsletter. I'll have them posted, or they should have been posted this past week. And for every month, you'll get a certain item either free or at a discount. And um, you would just just mail me, or not mail me, email me, um, or message me, or whatever, to let me know that you want to use that particular coupon. And then what I normally do is have you go ahead and place your order, unless this is the only thing you want. Then I would order from you and then send you the bill for the cost. Now, you do pay the shipping and tax on that as well. And in addition to that is my Savvy Stampers perks. So a perk of being part of my uh, newsletter subscribers. If you uh, place 50, a minimum of $50 order or more, you fill up these uh, eight lines, then you would receive $40 in free product from me. And the way that works is if you place an order, let's say for $55, then you would fill that in with the amount and the date. You don't need to worry about the order number. If you have it handy, you can write that down. That's fine. I'll go back and confirm everything. So it's 55, so that counts as one $50 order. Now, if you place another order and it happens to be 120, then that's two $50 orders. So then you would be able to fill in the next two lines because you've got $100 at least, all right? So once this section is completed, then you'll fill in the items that you would like and then you can just take a photocopy of this and message it to me, uh, text it to me, however you wanna do it is fine. And then make sure you fill in your name and address here, email and phone number so that I can have it mailed directly to you. All right, so that's just one of the benefits of being part of my um, Shall We Stamp uh, newsletter. So most of you are probably on there. If you're not receiving, it comes out on Tuesdays, then that means you probably need to get in there and uh, sign up for it. Okay, so I'm excited this evening. We are going to do a curtain card. This is, um, I don't particularly like the way I did this one, but this is just a kind of a sample of what I'm gonna be doing, but this curtain's gonna be a little bit different and it's gonna be cut different where you can see both sides. I am gonna do um, using the In The Moment stamp set. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now one thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna do what's called piecing, paper piecing. What that means is I'm going to stamp this image on a piece of um, designer paper and I am going to cut out the part that I want to piece, which means I'm gonna do her pants or her shirt. In this case, I'm just gonna do her shirt. So I'm going to stamp my image. And this is fun, if you've not done this before, um, I hi highly encourage you to try it. So what we'll do is take our paper snips and I've stamped her image, right? Now I could do her pants, but I'm just gonna do the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut out the top and we're gonna glue that in once we stamp her image We'll glue it on this area where her shirt goes, and then we don't have to worry about coloring because we'll already have a, a shirt made. And then I'm gonna cut up here because this is her other arm, right? So we're gonna cut up here, and then I'm gonna come back down here and cut off 
right about there. Let me get that off. And then we're gonna come here and just come right around, okay? And there we go. That's what we're gonna glue to her body. All right, so this is a fun technique. It's one that we, you know, you tend to forget about. Now this paper is from the new set that is the um, Delightfully Eclectic, I think. It's the one that has 30 sheets um, of paper, of pattern paper. Okay, so that piece we're gonna save for just a moment. And then we're gonna take our stamp and we're gonna be working with um, a piece of basic white, which is uh, three by four. Just confirm that. I think it's three by four. Yeah, three by four. And we're gonna build a curtain, but I'm gonna stamp and color my image first. So let me re-ink my stamp set. We're gonna go ahead and get this part done and then we'll make our curtain. That will allow those that are might be a little bit late so they don't miss out on the best part. <laughs> so, okay. Now, because I'm gonna have a curtain like on this side, I'm gonna place her a little bit over in this direction. So I'm just gonna place her down. Oops, now look at that. I didn't get enough ink there, so I'm going to ink this up again. Good thing we have two-sided paper. Let me make sure I get the ink um, covered really well. All right, let's try that again. So I'm gonna put that there, and I'm gonna ink her up right about here. I'm gonna push down on it, make sure I get good pressure. I'll hold it for a moment just to make sure. And I don't think I have anything underneath here, but I could. There we go, much better. Okay, all right, so we're gonna clean that off. Now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna do some quick coloring and we're gonna start out with, I'm gonna use our new wild wheat for her hair. So I'm gonna come in and just uh, color her hair this color. It's kind of, you know, this is one of those colors that, you know, depending on how you use it, it's probably fine, but it's gonna have to grow on you, I think. But I think for her hair, I think it's a good color, right? It's kind of like a goldy blonde. So I'm just gonna color this the same color. All right, and then I'm gonna come back. Now we're gonna do her shirt. So we're gonna piece this together. I'm gonna bring in my adhesive. Hopefully this one's gonna um, work. Give me a second. It's been sitting, so let me pull that off. All right, so, and I should have put a clean thing on here, and my apologies, my sheet looks kind of crooked with it on the blue because we were coloring last week, and I haven't moved. I have been so busy trying, um, of course, this is, I'm filming this on Sunday, um, Monday, the 8th. We leave tomorrow morning. We get picked up at 4.15 in the morning. Of course, this is, you all are going to watch this a week late, later, so I'm already in the, already should be in the Caribbean of course now my glue doesn't want to cooperate give me one second I should have tried this before I started huh it's doing it's being difficult all right hang on let me grab another piece my apologies I know this one works because I've been using it okay all right we're going to add our adhesive to this all right this is her shirt so what we're going to do is I'm going to take my paper uh, my clip my tweezers and see how this is gonna lay right on. Let me see, let me zoom in for just a second so y'all can see. All right, so I'm gonna lay this right here and look at that. Isn't that clever? So now she's got a blouse on. Isn't that cute? That's how you do it. Okay, now I'm gonna color her pants. I'm gonna color them um, gray. I'm gonna do Smoky Slate and use our Stampin', um, Stampin Blends. I'm gonna come in I guess I probably should do a belt too, huh? Uh, let's see, let me do the gray first. Let's color her pants. This is the light smoky slate. I'm gonna come around and just do this coloring and then I'll come back with my dark to make the accents and I'm debating on what color I want her belt to be. I may make, I may make it black, we'll see. So we're just gonna color this. Oops, I forgot to bring the color over to do her um, legs in her hands so I'll grab that in just a moment I was excited I'm getting ready to take my dog over to the dog sitter he called he texted me and he's all excited because Riley's coming over and let's do oh let's see let's go with this color I'm not sure for her skin I'm not sure what that's gonna look like but that's what we're gonna go with okay so I've got her um, in Smoky slate for her pants. I'm gonna come back over it just to make it a little bit darker and then I'll come back and do the accents. It's a nice thing about our blends, right? You can add more and get a little bit darker color. Okay, 
All right, and then we're gonna come in with our dark, and I'm just gonna go over these lines what the artists have done, and just kind of give them some accents of where they're bending. I think I'm gonna color her pockets. I think I'm gonna do them a darker color. I was gonna do black, but I think I'll just leave it all gray. I'll just make it darker. And we'll color her back pocket. Okay. All right, so there's that. And then I'm going to color, um, what color? Oh, there's, where's my color? I was gonna do her coffee cup. Oh, I forgot to get my, uh, let's see, what we're we gonna do? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, let's do the pillows. I'm gonna do those in Calypso Coral because that's gonna be our card base. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna color these real quick. It's gonna kind of blend. And then I am going to color, I think I'll do her coffee cup. Let me just do the fresh freesia since we could pull that color in. What do you think about that? So let me grab my fresh freesia real quick. And fresh freesia, we'll do the light. Good thing I have those things close by. All right, so let's color, and I'm not done so, but let's color her coffee mug. We're gonna just make it the same color as her blouse. Who knows, you know what I mean? All right, so that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, come back with our dark Calypso, and I'm gonna just do a little bit of accents with these pillows. Just try to put some, and then I'm gonna come back and blend over that real quick. So are you all enjoying, whoops, that one's not gonna work. I need to get a new, um, a new light. My tip, my full tip is empty, or it's gotten so worn out that I can't use it. So we'll just blend those. Okay, all right, so we wanna get this, and then um, we'll take our skin color, and this is number 800. So I'm gonna use this to color her arms and this is um, a real light color. I just grabbed it, so I wasn't even paying attention to, really to the color. This right here should be her other arm. And then we're gonna do her legs. All right. And then we're gonna do, all right, so in the way, this right here, because her little back is showing through her shirt because it's lifted up. All right, I think we're good with that. Okay, now we're gonna do the background, so I'm gonna take my balmy blue, and this is the, dark. I don't know if I want dark, yeah, we'll go with dark. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just start blending some of this. I didn't use my sponges, because that means I would have had to um, do a masking technique, and I really didn't wanna deal with that right now, but anyways, and this is already starting to dry out, so let me Go ahead and bring this up here. I'm gonna to try to do it so it doesn't look so funky. Just trying to give it some sky in the background of the window. So we'll just do some coloring like that. This is, uh, the only thing about coloring with your tip like this is you're gonna to tend to use up most of the, you know, you're gonna use up a lot of the ink. And as you can see, you start getting these weird uh, lines but that's all right so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let me bring this around because if this is a window we want to be able to have her see so we just want to make it look like it's some sky out there and my of course my balmy blue is getting a little weird looking but that's all right so I could use my blending brush but I chose not to don't ask me why. I guess because I would have had to mask all that. So I'm going to flip this back around because all of these windows here, right? So I'm going to get right here and um, I'm going to come around here. So we at least want to have this part through the window that looks like there's some sky. And we'll do this window pane here. And we're going to come in here and do this one. I, you know, this, you know, you buy stamps and then you use them and then you go back and you go, oh my gosh, I haven't put, you know, I haven't looked at, used this one in a while. So I thought this is a nice technique to use this. And when I get done with the curtain, you'll see exactly what I mean. And we can bring our color 
we can put some more color all the way through here if we want. And I'll pull out the, um, I have another balmy, but I think we'll be good. Let me pull out the, um, let's just see if we can do a little bit more through here, just to give it the window. Okay, I think that's good. I don't think we need to do much more. You get the gist of it, right? And, oh, got another window pane. Hold on. So we got a pane there, and then we've got this one, and right here. All right, I think that's good. Nope, no, it's not. Got to get up here. Got the window pane here, and then a little bit above the pillows. Okay. All right, so we've got her looking out the window. And the, all right, so I think we're good with this one. Let me make sure I've got it all colored. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to just stamp um, a couple of birds. And then I'll come back and do the sentiment last because we need to get this curtain made. And I'm going to put a little birdie there and we'll put one right there. All right, so she's got some birds out in the window that she's looking at. And we will get on to, let me set this off to the side. Let's move all these markers out of the way. And let's go ahead and get our curtain. Now, I am using a Calypso Coral, and this is cut at eight and a half by uh, four and a quarter. I'm gonna fold it in half, and we're gonna fold it. You're gonna score it at four and a quarter, and then we're gonna burnish it with our foam folder. And then I'm going to add a piece of Pretty Peacock, which is one of our um, returning colors, and this is really used to, it still is, but it used to be one of my favorite colors. And as we've progressed over the years, you know, you always have another new color, right? But this is a really, really beautiful color. So we're gonna do Pretty Peacock um, for our top base. And again, it's four by five and a quarter. All right, so we're gonna lay that right here. And we're gonna put that right there. All right. So we're gonna, all right, so that's that. Now we're gonna set both of these off to the side for just a moment and we're gonna go ahead and make our curtains. All right, I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. So you wanna take a piece of designer paper, uh, two-sided designs, obviously, and you wanna cut it depending on your um, how you're gonna do the card. If you're gonna do it this way, like a landscape, then you want it at four inches by five and a half. If you're gonna do it this way, then you're gonna start with five and a half by four inches, okay? We're doing ours in the landscape mode. Let me um, let me back out from uh, zooming in. Hang on a minute. So you're not so tied in to the, to the um, where you can't see anything, okay? So we're gonna go landscape. And I'm using a piece of the, uh, da, 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 this is the botanical, inked botanicals this is some really pretty paper if y'all haven't seen this it's it's got some really pretty colors in it so again i've cut this at four inches going down and five and a half this way so what we're going to do is we're going to score and we're going to start scoring we're going to do a um start with a um hang on a minute uh, da, 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 start score length one okay we're gonna start with a one inch score and then we're gonna go one inch a half one inch a half one inch a half okay until we get to the end so we're gonna start with um a one inch right here so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we're gonna score oh shoot i meant to do it the other way i'll flip it upside down but that is still be the same all right so this is our one inch right so now we're gonna move to one and a half I just turned it upside down so I'd be on the same uh, thing. All right, so this is one and a half, so that's a half an inch. Now we're gonna go from one and a half to two and a half, right? So we're moving it over a full inch. So that's one inch, move over half an inch, move it over an inch, which put us at three, so now it puts us at four, right? Is that right? Yep, so four. And then we're gonna move it down to four and a half get my paper straight four and a half and then that leaves us an inch on this side okay now I only flipped it because I started it on the other side so what we're going to do now is we are going to fold our um, flaps now what we want is we want those half inch flaps to be underneath the one inch pieces okay so we're gonna start doing an accordion fold right so we're just gonna start getting these one inches underneath and I'll, 
um, as you see, I'm just gonna, and then I'll come back and burnish it in just a minute. So we want that one inch, um, half inch flap to go that way. And then there you go. There's our, um, all our score lines have been scored, okay? So I'm gonna take the bone folder and just kind of give it a good crease. All right, so we did one inch, a half an inch, one inch, a half an inch, one inch, a half an inch, and one inch, right? Okay, now this is the top of my paper or my curtain. So I am going to take my paper trimmer and I'm going to take the bottom left corner and I'm gonna line that up in my track where I'm gonna cut it, okay? This one, now because Stampin' Up's trimmer goes over to one and a half, I'm gonna bring it the bottom right corner all the way over to that one and a half mark. Now if your trimmer doesn't have that, then you'll need to turn your paper, okay? So my one and a half is gonna be here and I've got my corner, left corner, is in my track, okay? I'll get my hands out of the way. Now you're gonna lay it flat when you cut it. So my left corner is in my cutting track and my white one um, bottom right is in the one and a half inch mark and I'm going to cut this down. So we're gonna cut it at an angle, all right? And then from there, move this out of the way, we're gonna take our fold and we're gonna go back again. We're just gonna put everything back. Now see how the bottom, the back side of the paper shows? Can you see that? Look at that. So you can see the back of the curtain. All right, now what we wanna do, we're gonna keep it like this, and you're gonna find the center mark, and we're gonna cut this one inch right in the center, because we're gonna make a tie back. I'm just eyeballing it, you guys, so I'm just gonna go right here and do a snip, okay? So I'm snipping that. Now I'm gonna open this up and flip it over, and I'm gonna take this, now it cut into the other two um, uh, layers, which is fine because that's how it folded back, right? We're gonna take this one inside curtain and we're gonna fold it up to that score line or get it to where you're, actually you wanna get it to where your corner comes to a fold, like to a point, okay? So we wanna do that and we should be able to ma manipulate it to get it to where it's gonna fold and give us a point. Let me um, go back this way, it's probably easier. So we're gonna, you're gonna have to twist your paper a little bit to get it to work, but we wanna bring it over to the edge right here, okay? All right, and then we're gonna come back and do the same thing with this one. Now this one I've went a little bit further, so I'm gonna have to come back, there we go. And we'll just, we'll get it fixed, it'll be fine. And then we're gonna bring this one in and we're gonna hopefully get it to where we've got that point and then this one I need to fix because it's not quite at a point. And we don't want it to go there. We want it to come here. So we're going to bring this down like that. Okay? Does that see that? All right. So now when we fold this back, this is what it's going to look like. And then we're going to add a. Whoops. Hang on. Let me get my stuff in here. Get my fingers. Got to get my fingers in here. And then this is our half inch. Um, we're going to fold this one in. Oops, see my piece of paper is in the way, so hold on a minute. This one has to go to the one inch, so I don't want to score it. Hang on. This is my inch. I cut a little bit further, but that's okay. We're just going to force it to go back to that one, and then this one is a little bit. So we just sometimes you might have to just force it just enough to get it to give your points, okay? Hopefully that's making sense. So this, now we're going to fold it back. So this is our half inch right here, so we're going to get that we're going to ma manipulate that back and this is going to be covered up so we don't need to worry about this that much because we're going to cover that okay now we could you could fold it back but we don't want to lose too many of our little flappy do's all right so we're going to and then this shows us the back side of our paper which is fine okay now what we want to do is we're gonna take a strip of paper, and I think this is like a quarter inch. I'm gonna flip it over because that's the back side, and I'm gonna lay this, I'm flipping it upside down, okay? And I'm just gonna put this right here, and then I'm gonna hold this down, and then we're gonna attach that, okay? So I'm gonna hold it, and then we're gonna add some adhesive. Now see how that's gonna work? So that's gonna hold that together. Now granted, we can see a little bit of our um, inside the color of the, of the um, curtain, but that's fine. All right, so the easiest thing, since these guys keep wanting to flap up, we're just gonna use some tear and tape to hold it all down so it doesn't make any more bulk to it. 
and I'm just going to apply a little bit on here. Um, so we're just going to take it and just kind of throw it on here at different angles just to hold everything down. So I'm going to start and like for instance I'm going to go from here because it's going to help hold my corner here down. We'll do that and then we'll do the other side to help hold down the piece that is going to be our uh, curtain. Uh, whatever you call it. What's that thing called? You're not, you're, the, the thing that wraps around the curtain. You know, I'm making up <laughs> the, uh, whatever, the trim or whatever. So we're going to do that. And that's going to hold all that. We're not going to take the backings off. We just want to use that to hold it in place. And there you go. There's our curtain. Isn't that cute? Now, if you want it lower, you can make it lower. So now what we'll do is we're going to bring our card back in. And if you notice, I stamped my image a little bit towards the right side because I want to be able to add my curtain right here. So I'm going to get her on there and then I'm going to place that right there and glue that down. And if this is popping up, you can always, um, you can glue that down a little bit if you'd like. And my corner is still not cooperating, is it? Hang on a second. Let me see if I can get this one to cooperate. Let's see. Let's get, we want to have it a little bit more pointed. There we go. And if you have to put a little glue dot there, then, you know, that's fine. That's not going to be a problem at all. All right, let's get this guy turned over. There we go. That's not too bad. All right, there we go. And we may want, I think I will put a glue dot just to hold that down. So let me get a glue dot and we'll hold um, that to the inside of our curtain because we don't want that flapping up. So I'm just going to put a glue, top, a glue dot there and then I'll put a glue dot right under here all right now we're just going to add our adhesive but let me get my uh get my photo where i want it and then my curtain's going to come in and i'm going to have it tied up to the um probably up to the pretty peacock so i think that looks good so i'm going to go ahead and add this right here so i'll just leave a little bit probably like a quarter maybe three eighths of an inch from that side so let's go ahead and glue her down. All right. So let's go ahead and get that down. And I'm going to place it probably right about there, I think. I think that's going to be a good mark right there. All right. And then this will go just like that. And we'll add, put that over. So I'm going to put some adhesive on here. Now you could use um, tape. You can use glue, um, glue dots. I'm just going to add the adhesive in areas that... Um, we need the help to glue this down so I'll just attach it and then we got the um, glue dots to hold that other part down all right and then we're gonna put our curtain in two right there and we're gonna lay that down isn't that cool now not next week because uh, but when I get back I have another version of this we will do a double curtain all right, so what do you think about that? Now, the last thing I need to do is to make my, um, my sentiment, and I am going to stamp and cut this out. I'm going to fussy cut, and I'm going to use, oops, hang on. I put my black marker over, and I need my, um, oh, wait, I don't want that stamping blend. We don't want that. Oh, I was getting ready to color on my thing. All right, let's see if we can get the black on my relax, and we're just going to stamp the relax. Now, i got to get a little bit more. Well, I'm going to cut it anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Let me make sure I get some um, ink on my relax. Let's see how that looks. And we're going to fussy cut. That's good, because we're going to fussy cut that so we can cut around all those little pieces here. All right. So we'll go ahead and cut that out. So give me just a minute. I hope you enjoyed this card. I found this um, through um, oh shoot, Split Coast Stampers. And it happens to be a person, Beth, oh shoot, ski, with, uh, she is with Stampin' Up, at least she was back then. I, I assume she still is. Uh, Beth, I want to say last name was Nash, but don't hold me to that. But um, if you're familiar with um, Split Coast Stampers, then uh, you can find her video. But hopefully... I've done it justice on, um, I gotta get in here and do my X. Done it justice on the curtain. Um, I tried it a week ago and it was just pitiful, so I got fed up 
frustrated, I should say, and thought, no, nah, I'm not going to do that, and then changed my mind. I thought, well, let me see if I can do it uh, today. So we'll see. And so far, so good. I'm going to come back and do a little bit um, of letter. I'm going to cut most of this out, and then I'm going to come back and do a little bit extra so I can get between a couple of the letters. So just give me one minute while I'm trying to move my paper snips around. And we'll go like that. And let's see if we can get in here. I think that looks good. I don't want to try to cut any tighter than that. All right, so we're just going to add... Um, Oh, let's see, where should we put that? How about if we just put relax right there? We'll put a couple of little, how about if we just do a couple of little baby dimensionals? And I think I have some right here. So we'll put a couple, two uh, dimensionals. We'll put one on the R and one on the L. And we'll, we'll move that over just enough that should hold it in place. Oopsie. All right, so let's put that back in my little stash. All right, so here is this one. All right, and we're gonna put that right about there. We don't want to hide up. We don't want to hide the bird. So let's just do relax. All right, there you go. What do you think about that? Isn't that a cute card? All right, so that's card number one with our tied back curtain card, and of course you'll open the card and put something on the inside. All right, so we're gonna set that one there. Now the next one we're doing, we're gonna do a. Um, flower pot stand-up card all right and this is this is the one that I made earlier this is my first one and this one I used night of navy I ran it through the uh, wood embossing uh, folder and use um, oh gosh uh, lolly lolly yellow oh lordy that's terrible I don't even know the name of it hang on it's one of the new colors lemon lolly is that the name yeah, Lemon Lolly. Let me make sure. I can't read that. The, the, the color, you can't even read it. Yeah, Lemon Lolly. So Lemon Lolly is the ink color for the flowers. And this particular one, I used uh, Night of Navy for the inserts. And then um, Old Olive. And then you open it up. And then it stands up just like that. Isn't that cute? So that's what we're going to make. And it's really not that difficult. Okay, so here we go. I'll put that off to the side. Now this one, we're going to do Boho blue i've already got everything cut out because it's a lot of cutting and too much um too many pieces to have to die cut so i went ahead and taken care of all of that all right okay so this is four and a quarter by 11 and then we need to score this at um two and three quarters two and three quarters and then of course it's going to be at five and a half because this is an 11 so we'll do a five and a half all right so that's our base of our card all right then you're going to need let me fold this so we're going to fold our card base and burnish it make sure we get it all even get my bone folder and I'm going to hold it down because it wants to keeps wanting to shift on me all right and then this piece we would normally fold it back, right? Well, this one, we're gonna fold it forward, okay? So this so that's gonna help our flower pot stand up. So we're gonna burnish that and then fold it forward, okay? Like that. All right, now I'm using a piece of the Lemon Lobby, uh, Lemon, no, yeah, Lemon Lobby, um, right here, and then this is four by five and a quarter, and then I'm using a piece of basic white at um, uh, just a little bit shy it's going to be like three and seven eighths by five and an eighth ish is a little bit closer to the five um because i wanted a little bit more of the yellow to show okay so we'll go ahead and add this we want to get this on here all right this one shouldn't i mean the only time consuming part with this one is cutting out all the flowers so we're going to put this right on here and I just wanted a little bit more of the yellow to show. It really is. This is the first time I've used this um, Lemon Lobby, right? Um, this is the first time I've used that color. 
and it really is yeah li i'm sorry i said lobby it's lolly like lollipop lemon lolly i kept thinking lobby sounds weird lemon lolly l-o-l-l-y <laughs> all right so this is going to go here but it's really a bright cheerful color i you know our yellows i like daffodil but this is so much brighter i think this is very going to be really good for summer and then this card would really be perfect mother's day um you know birthday any occasion you want to send somebody you know somebody that's not feeling well you can make it into a get well card thinking of you card anything like that okay so the next thing we've done is i've cut a piece of lemon lolly at uh, four inches by two and a half and then our basic white will be uh two and i did this one at two and three eighths by three and seven eighths okay so just a little bit of the yellow is going to show through this is going to go on top of here so we'll go ahead and put that down here all right so that is going to go on this and i'm sorry i apologize for having my um piece of paper underneath my stuff is all I didn't think to change that out before we got started I'll try to hide it now this is going to go on the front part now just remember when your, when your card folds down this is instead of us always going back like to the up we want it to go down because that's how we're, our, our uh, flower is going to hold right so um, that's what we're going to do uh, no I'm sorry pardon me I was wrong it's going to go like this because we want it my mistake we want it to help hold down our card. So see how it goes like that? So it does fold back, not forward. I almost screwed that one up. That's why I did the first time. I'm like, well, how come that's not working? But it needs to go like this because that's how we're gonna build our card. So this here is gonna get right attached to the front of the card. So we're gonna lay this here, get that flat, add our adhesive. All right, and this um, set, which I didn't even tell you what we were using. I was so excited to get started. We are using the um, Cheerful Daisies. Let me show you this set. I'm sure you've seen everybody's been using this set and making cards galore. 15 uh, photopolymer stamps. You've got the outline, um, the color one, and you've got a half a circle um, flowers. You've got the inserts. You've got sentiments, a stem and this um anyways there's some really nice nice um stamps in there and then the die cuts come with 14 die cuts and let me show you i haven't even had a chance to put this on my magnetic sheet but let me show you um which you can see in the catalog which i'm sure you've already seen all this um we've got a die cut for sentiments and here's the outline of the of the flowers this piece right here is a does all of this it cuts the leaves with these three flowers and then you've got all of these different pieces here so this is really a popular set i think this is one that i'm going to end up keeping for some time because you know even though we have flowers this one's a little bit different right don't you think at least i do okay so that's what we're working with all right now let's move on Okay, so I'm going to put that there to hide my gunk. All right, the next thing you need um, is going to be two of your same color uh, card base uh, pieces of cardstock, and they are going to be four inches um, by three and three quarters. So we got three and three quarters. We're going to have that going across and then four inches down. And I took and used our um, wood, the wood embossing folder. Uh, let me look at, I'm not sure if this is retired yet or not. Let me see. It is the wood. Is it? Oh Lord. What's the name of it? Wood grain. Oh, timber. It's the timber 3d embossing. I'm hoping that I think this is still in the catalog. I don't think it's been retired, but I will have to confirm that. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull our paper trimmer back in and we are going to make a mark with our pencil at now this is the three and three quarters should be at the top right let me hang on uh let me get my ruler yeah so three and three quarters is at the top and we want to make a mark at the um three quarter inch mark okay so we're going to come over here because there's my three quarter inch and i'm going to line this up right there and i'm just going to make a mark so that i can see that and then I'm going to do it on this side as well. So I'll just bring that over on this side and line it up at the three-quarter mark. 
and we'll just mark that three quarters right there, right? So we got three quarters there and three quarters right there, okay? And we're gonna do that on both pieces. And again, that's on the three and three quarter side. Yep, so we're gonna do three quarters and you're gonna line it up and we wanna mark it right where the track is. And then I'm gonna come down here and do three quarters as well and mark it because we're gonna cut that, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make our, um, our pots. So we wanna go down to an angle, right? So I'm gonna line this up and put that in the track. Let me see, no, we wanna do it, hang on, let me do it this way, it's easier. Um, I'm gonna line that up in the track and we're gonna cut down to this mark. So the top corner, I just, it doesn't matter which way, you just wanna cut it, okay? So we're gonna line that three quarter inch mark in the cutting track and put our corner in the track and we'll come down and we should cut that and that's gonna help make our pot. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. We've got that in the track. We've got our uh, top in the track, our top point, and we're gonna come down and cut like that. Okay, so there's our pot. Now I only embossed one side. We're gonna, we're gonna glue, uh, glue these together just to give it a little bit more strength. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. So we're gonna line that one up and cut. And this one I embossed, you can um, cut it first and then emboss it, whichever is easier for you. Oops, we wanna get this one over here. Oh, let me get my things in the way. I think I cut that one on the other side a little bit wrong. Let me see, I'm gonna have to check that one. All right, so let's come down. I got that one in the track, can you see? All right, so we're gonna put that, come down the corner, right to that three corners of a mark. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. It really is a pretty easy card. Then we're just gonna glue these two together. And um, I can flip this over if I don't want that, but let me just erase my mark because I did put a little bit of heavy pencil there. And that's good because no, no one's gonna see that one. All right, so we're gonna glue this together. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, before we do that, we wanna add our ribbon. And I'm going to use the um, uh, lint, uh, what is this stuff called? The, um, what in the world is this called? Border ribbon. This is that uh, navy, Knight of Navy uh, border ribbon. So we're just gonna take a piece, and this is my back. So I'm gonna use my um, uh, seal, and I'm just gonna put a little strip here to hold my ribbon, and we're just gonna cut a piece and wrap it around our flower pot, and then um, we're gonna cut this. And guess what I forgot is my ribbon scissors. So let me go grab them because I don't like cutting without them. Every time I do, it, my ribbon tends to fray, fray. Okay, so we're gonna trim that off. And then I'm gonna cut another piece because we're gonna make um, a little cheater's bow, if you will. And we're gonna save that to, um, in just a few minutes. All right, so now I've got my ribbon on there where I want it and I can make it move it up higher if I want. I think that's fine. Um, I think that's about the same, yeah. All right, so let's now go ahead and add our rest of our adhesive. And we're gonna glue these guys together. So let me know if you like this card. And also, I forgot to mention, if you do like my videos, please make sure that you share and uh, like and share and tag your friends or whomever. I would love to um, add more people to my um, repertoire of people that are watching me. It helps my uh, numbers obviously increase and I would love that. The more people I get to share with, the more um, we all enjoy it. Okay, so there's my flower pot and I've got my ribbon. All right, now, we also had to cut a one inch, I'm sorry, one and a quarter by four inch piece of, again, the same color cardstock. And this is gonna be the top of our flower, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to, now we're going to adhere this flower pot. So the first thing that we want to do, and everything looks crooked, is it me or did I move my camera or something? Hang on, all of a sudden I realize that my camera's not straight. Sorry about that, I'm so involved in uh, doing my stuff, I forgot. All right, we're gonna line this up to the bottom of the lemon lolly, okay? Just to, and then we wanna make sure that it's even to the lemon lolly. 
and we want to make sure we're even on this side so I'm gonna move it over just a little bit all right and I think that looks good now I know I've got to go right about here so I'm just gonna put adhesive on this top let's say like a third so I'm just gonna come down and add some adhesive because we only want it to attach to the top because this is gonna be where we, the card's gonna open, right? Open and shut. So again, I'm gonna lay it right there. Make sure that I'm over. And I think that looks good. I'm gonna lay it there, make sure it's, yep. Okay, so we're gonna lay it down. And I've got my adhesive there. And we'll hold it for just a minute and make sure that it dries. And there you go, okay? Now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna add just a little bit. Now it's gonna go from edge, did I make this four or four? Hang on a second, I think I did this at four. I think it's supposed to be four and a quarter. Hold on, let me find my notes real quick, sorry. Uh, oops, supposed to be four and a quarter. What did I do? Oh, I made this at four. Hang on, let me cut another piece, sorry. Hold up a minute, go figure, I was doing so good. See, it never fails. All right, bear with me one second. Let me cut one and a quarter one and a quarter and it's supposed to be cut at four and a quarter because we want it to go side to side of our pot so we'll save that one so we can use for something else later all right so this is going to go from edge to edge right and you don't want it to go all the way up you just want enough to give you um the look of a pot and the reason we're doing that is now we're going to start decorating it with our flowers so i think i'm going to leave it like that so let me go ahead and add my adhesive all right okay so we'll go ahead we've got that on there i think what i'm going to do is make about not quite half of it hanging over just and you can do whatever you want i'm just going to do a little bit about like half because i don't want my flowers to be um, actually I'm going to come down and probably make it about a third because I'm going to be layering flowers on here and we'll make sure we get this over so it's even on side to side okay all right there we go so we got that on there so far so good what do y'all think right and that should be one and a quarter one yep one and a quarter all right so that's the start of our pot now we can go ahead and tie our ribbon so let's go ahead and do that and then we'll start building our flowers and adding our sentiment and doing all of that so i'm just gonna this is what they call a cheat or not because if you don't know how to tie bows or knots very well then this is a good way and what i've been told is to always pull the left the left side which would kind of make your square knot look a little bit better so um and of course mine's twisting i think it's the way i hold my my paper uh, my ribbon i'm not sure all right so i'm gonna go ahead I'm going to give it a little twisty do here. See how it starts to fray? So I'm going to trim, and then we're going to trim this one. Hang on. And trim that. All right, make sure y'all are leaving me some comments so I can see them when I get back. All right, so there's our bow on our um, pot. Now I can slide that over because we didn't glue it on there, right? It's just tied, so I can move it over to get it straight. All right, now we're going to come in. And I, you're going to cut two, you're going to stamp a uh, lemon lolly, you're going to stamp two um, of the large flowers, lemon lolly on white cardstock, okay? And you're going to cut two of the small ones, and then you're going to cut out two of the inserts for the flowers, and then the little tiny ones, um, I use a 3 8 inch punch and then I just cut the white off around it because I, I, they don't have, we don't have a die cut, but that's what the flower is going to look like. So let's go ahead and add our insert pieces and get our flower. Isn't this pretty? What do y'all think? Don't you love this? Now this, excuse me, this does have a way for this to go in here and I'm not sure. I think it's going to go like that. So you're just going to have to play with it and see what looks right. All right, and then we're going to do this one. All right, and let me get my tweezers because these little things get a little small. And then I'm trying to determine, make sure that I've got the, the piece going right. And when you line up these things with your um, die cuts, just keep in mind about these like three that are looped together. And that's the easy way that you'll be able to determine where your die cut needs to go. And then also kind of how you place these little guys. Okay, 
And then these are just, I just did the three eighths um, circle and then I just trimmed off the excess white. And you could put a glue, glue dot on here if you wanted. It doesn't matter because they're so small, you know. All right, so let's put some glue on that. All right, now we are rocking and rolling. Isn't this a cute set? Oh my gosh. Woo! And I got this from Peggy Merwin. She, um, I found her um, on Pinterest and then I found her video on YouTube. Okay, so what we're going to do now, now when you're applying your um, uh, flowers, you want to make sure you don't go off the edge of the card, right? Or at least a little bit because you want to make sure you get it into uh, your envelope. So I'm going to place this down. I'm going to bring it down a little bit here. I'm going to put, now I don't want to put um, a glue dot, I mean a dimensional because it's already up. So I'm just going to glue this one down. All right. So with this one, I'm just going to glue down. Okay. And then we're going to place that and however you want to put your flower. And I'm going to lay it right towards the edge because we're going to put the other large one next to it. Okay. Now this one, and I think I popped that one up on dimension. Um, one of them, I did. I popped that one up on dimensionals. Oh well, that's all right. Now this one, I am going to do dimensionals. So we are going to. Here we go. All right, I'm going to place um, one right here, right above, and right next to it. Go up just a little bit higher. So I'm going to place the flowers on top of this flower on top of that. So it's to give it a little bit of lift, and then we'll put our smaller ones we're going to go in between if I can get the backings off okay all right and then this one we'll go ahead and place it right about there and again I'm trying to not go outside of my card just a little bit all right so there's those now this one I'm going to pop up because we can and this one's going to get inserted so I think I'm going to put him down right underneath these guys hang on if I can get them under I'm gonna have to lift it up I'm gonna lift them up put him down there and let me see I think I've got to lift hold on a second hang on a minute I gotta lift my flowers to get him in there and actually you know what I'm gonna have him sitting no I want him downside I'm gonna try to get let me see if I can get the long side in probably that's nope that makes him look like he's upside down all right hang on a minute I think I'm not going to put the dimensional on this one. I think we'll lay this one flat because he's got, um, there's too many other things in the way. So hang on one second. Let me just lay him, let's put some adhesive on here. We'll just lay him down flat. Might be able to get him in there a little bit easier. All right, so we'll just, yeah, we'll, we're just going to pop him in there like that. Now that's over, but I think we'll be okay. I think we have a little bit of give on our um, envelope. I probably could have moved that one dimensional over a little bit this way so I could pop him back down, but I think it should be fine. And then this one, I'm going to slide him in here as well. And I think if I can get him in here, I think I will put him up. I'm not putting him on top, so I will put a dimensional on this one. So I'll just take the one that we just used and pop him on there. And I'm going to place that one right right about there come down just a little bit all right so far so good what do you think all right now we've got to add our leaves now there is a die for these leaves but to be honest with you i just hand cut them i just fussy cut because it was too much too much work to try to just take one at a time to run it through this um, stamp and cut machine i just fussy cut them so that's what i did all right so we're just going to add some uh, adhesive to our I find my container to hold the glue. Um, we're just going to add some adhesive to the back, and I'm just going to start popping these little guys in here, and it's going to go wherever they go, right? So I'm going to put one here, and this is using sea foam, soft sea foam for the um, for the leaves. And this one probably should use my tweezers, huh? All right, so let's see that one. All right, so we've I did five, so let's see. Let's put um, this one, let's see if we can get this one in here. And of course, you know, I'd have to put it backwards, right, from the way I want to do it. So let's see if we can slide this guy under. I'm going to tuck him in there. 
I'm gonna have to try to pull him over a little bit. I'm lay him. I'm trying to get him around the uh, glue dot. So I mean the dimensionals and the other piece of cardstock. So just keep that in mind. All right. So we got that one there. All right. And then we're gonna do. We've got two, uh, three more that we're gonna place. Add a little bit of adhesive here. And let's see. Let's put one. Let's put one right about here. I think that looks like it needs a leaf. All right, and then we'll do one on the other side. Oh, got a little bit too much glue there. And let's plug this one. We'll put him right here. We'll um, top him right there. Pop him right under. And let's see, where do we need another one? Oh, do 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 do. Let's put one right under here. Let's do that. All right, so we've got that one coming in, and let's put this one, let's put it right, let's see if we can tuck them in under here. Nope, that's glued down, so hang on, we're going to have to go around in this into the center. Let me think, where do we want him to go? Yeah, we, I think we need him on this side, don't you? So I'm going to lift this up a little bit and tuck it right under. There we go. All right, so there's our leaves, and that's uh, soft sea foam. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is I went ahead and stamped my sentiment, and I die cut it out, and this is the shape that also comes with that uh, die set of this uh, da uh, Delightful Daisies. We're gonna pop this up on dimensionals, and we're going to take these off, and then however high you want your uh, flower pot to stand that's where you're going to put your um, this is going to hold it up so I think that to me about half not it's not even halfway maybe a third of the way I like that so the card's going to lay like that so I think I'm going to bring it to right about here so I'm going to lay this right about there and I think that looks good okay and then the last thing that we're going to do is there's a funky um, die that cuts out this uh, weird looking flower the little weird looking daisy and this one we're going to add a little bit of he's adhesive and we're going to pop this down on our sentiment off to the side and we're going to add a all right there we go hang on a minute let me get this guy on here and we're going to put him and we'll put it right about like that Okay, so we're going to put that there. And then we're going to take one of our in-color um, dots, the 2325, and I'm going to use the, um, the blue, the boho blue, and we're going to stick that right in the center of our flower. Okay, so there is our card, and then we open it up, and it's just like that. Whoops, well, I'm trying to hold it so y'all can see it. So what do you think about that? Isn't that cool looking? Let me move this out of the way. All right, so there's that one in boho blue with lemon lolly. And then this one was designed with, um, I didn't even tell you that. This one's designed with um, copper clay, which I really, it's becoming one of my go-to colors. Copper clay, I've got old olive and the night of navy. And then the same thing with the flowers. So which one, which color do you like? Let me know which color you prefer. And they, aren't those cute? So just think they're really easy and you can purchase these through my online store. And then our curtain card that we made is right there. There you go, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure that you share and like the video. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you next, I won't be here, but I've got one last video that um, I'll have on the recording. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you again next week. Bye now.